guys and happy 2017. I cannot believe it's 2017. I remember it being 1999 turning over to like 2000 and thinking Y2K was going to take out all the internet and the computers and that was back in like the AOL chat days and stuff if you guys are in your 30s and you remember that. Um, and now like 17 years passed and it's honestly felt like a few years to me. So that's very scary because I'm going to be old and uh, it's just, it's awful. Anyways, so this is my first 99 cent store haul of the year. Um, I've had this stuff for like a week or so. I get like something new every day, but I want to finally make it and get all this crap off my bed because, oh wait, I think I said that in 2015, 16, that this was going to be my year that I actually, yeah probably not gonna happen just saying <laughs> I may be a hoarder I'm getting my room in order though it's like happening it's it's getting better it's getting better it's getting better oh yeah I got that um and dust the screen cleaner it's for electronics I got that 99 cent store today too okay so they have a bunch of palettes right now which I thought was going to be like a Christmas thing but it's not it's actually they're releasing more and more by the day so I thought you know that was just beautiful but they're all matte colors, and I'm not a matte girl. Like, you know, I just think matte eyeshadows are pretty chalky in general, but I think that palette's beautiful, and if I ever need a matte eyeshadow, well then, there you go. This is from Profusion, which here in California, Profusion is sold at, like, little Asian stores, like little clothing stores or, like, Mexican swap meets, different things like that, for, like, $3.99, $4.99, $5.99. Anyway, so it's cheap, but it's pretty good quality. Um, these two palettes are far superior to this one. Um, these are the shimmer ones and they're in 01 or 02. Let me see. So it's a half palette and it's just so pretty. Like it's pretty, it's pigmented, it's gorgeous. Ooh, these are like totally my kind of colors. I think it's so pretty. And I've already used, I might have used the other palette actually. So, okay, I got that one. Also from Profusion. I wish these palettes would have been, like, together as one. Like, just be, like, one big round palette, but they want to, like, half-ass it. Um, um, whoa, going down, guys. Okay. So, <laughs> so, this is the other palette, and there's my Cheshire Cat phone. Um, yeah, this is the more, like, neutral one, I would say. And I've actually used this a couple times. You can see I've already dug into the gold ones right there. They worked fine. I just do like a wash of color with this. I don't really get down, down, down with eyeshadow. But yeah, they're super pretty and I love it. 99 cents. And then I got some more makeup. Um, I got this Milani eyeshadow. I don't know what colors because when I took the packaging off, the whole back ripped off. But it's in this purple color, which is in the middle right here. So if you put it on and you're an ivory color like me, it's going to look like a bruise. That looks like a straight up bruise with some glitter. Like, bruise my face and put some glitter on it. That's what it looks like. Um, it's pretty. I don't know how it would look on me. I have, like, light blue eyes and brownish blonde hair. Might look like a bruise. This one I thought was beautiful. It's in 604 Perfect Purple, and I'm going to go out and say it is a perfect purple. It's really pretty, and I don't think many companies, not even MAC, is on point with their purple eyeshadows all the time. They do have a couple that are pigmented, but sometimes you like swipe your finger across and no color whatsoever comes off. And so it's the third one, and it's like a glittery purple, but it's pigmented. That was just like one quick swipe. So if you put a base, I mean, you're going to get a nice purple. Um, so Milani, yeah, they have a lot of nice Milani makeup right now, and like in tubs of by the 99 cent store. And then I found this, and I had not seen any, any, any of these before. And this is the Milani Blanked Blush. Blanked, did I just say Blanked Blush? Baked Blush in Fantastical Mavo 7. I buy these religiously at Walmart for like $8.99. And they might be seven ninety nine, seven ninety nine, eight ninety nine, somewhere close to ten bucks. So to get it for a dollar, and th here's the swatch. It's the first one, the pinkish right there, that very first one right there. Bam! It is super pigmented, beautiful. You only need to dip your brush in it real quick, and you get a nice color. Very pigmented. And then today, 
I went to 99 and they had new bl uh, brushes from Wet n Wild. And I saw this and I don't know why I saw there was like a bunch like that and I thought they were glow sticks. And I was like, what is this? And I was just like throwing them and then I'm like, oh, it's blood, it's brushes. And I got excited. So I just got that one. It's super soft, a little too soft, if you know what I mean by too soft. It's just really soft. Like you would get the lightest like dusting of blush on that. So I would more likely use this for like a highlighter because it's just going to go on light, like a heavy highlighter that you're like, whoa, I don't want to shine from heaven. So I would go with this and like be a lighter version of highlighter, if that makes any sense. And then I got this. I know I've got these in a couple hauls before, but I use them for face mask or like just under eye concealer, stuff like that. Um, yeah, so I got those two today and then I got, and now these are some old packaging right here. This is like reminding me of like the eighties when I would go into my mom's bag and take out her makeup and like they would sell this and I'm like, where in the hell do they sell this packaging right now in 2016 or 17? Like I have not seen that. So I'm like, how old is this shit? Like, does it say expiration? No trying to look for like a thing I don't know it's cheek shaper um let me put you guys down for a second so I can open it because you know I'm a BPD um so here's the swatch it is I don't know it's to me it's kind of useless like I'm not sure I'm not sure what I would do with this like, it just doesn't really translate to the skin. It, I don't know. It's kind of a waste to me. I don't know. I don't really know what the hell I would do with this. It's called the Cheek Shape or Blush and Highlighter. And I don't remember back in the 90s or early 2000s them ever having a highlighter or contour set from L'Oreal. So I don't understand this packaging. Like, it's 80s packaging, but we didn't have contour and highlight back in the 80s. That's like a new thing. Is it not? Is it just coming? I don't know. And then I got this. I've never seen this. If you guys have seen any of this stuff, you can be like, yeah, I saw it in 2014 at Big Lots. I don't know. This is called the Light Catcher from L'Oreal. Now, I'm like religiously drugstore beauty junkie, so I've just not seen this stuff. I don't know if I missed out. It's in Peach Light, and I did swatch it on my hand, and it was very pretty. So I can get some use out of that. And then this is the L'Oreal L'Oreal Hip line. I do remember that, and that was like a few years ago. Glimmer Shimmer Powder. So I remember that. It's like, how long has this shit been in a warehouse sitting? And they're like, you know what? Let's throw this crap at nine. Let's put it all at ninety nine cent stores. Someone will buy it. <laughs> I will. Um, and then this NYC, which I see all the time, so I don't think that's that old. I wish there was like a date on it. Like, hey, you know how it says 30 months that you could use this for? I've had eyeshadow from 1998. No lie. From like Lancome and stuff, still works. Give me a break. Just spray some alcohol on it. It'll be fine. Um, And then I got this little beauty set because mine rusted because I left it in the shower. And then they had this today also at 99 cent store. They have a bunch of these suave body washes. And yeah, I picked up two of those. Picked up two of these every pure, and I know this is pretty new. This is pretty new. So repair remedy mask. I need to try that. I'll put that in the shower. I just was saving it for the video, but I was like, I need to try this. Um, and then another Lori, oh, another LA looks, of course. And then I got this little grater, because if you guys can hear my voice, I've been sick since my birthday, and my birthday was December twenty seventh, by the way. And I bought a bunch of ginger, and I'm like, I can shred it and make ginger tea. And now I'm starting to feel better and I'm probably not going to make it. But I have like 20 pounds of ginger and a grater. <laughs> so that is my haul. And um, I hope you guys had a great Christmas. And I hope you guys had a great New Year's. If you guys did anything fun or got anything great, let me know below. I love reading the comments. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next haul. Bye.